please, it's sarcasm the sickness, and today I am on face cam, so that's different. Uh, I just spent about 20 minutes making sure that I looked like a normal, you know, decent example of a human being. Um, I don't think I did very well, so I do apologize, because I'm not good at makeup, I can't do that. Ugh. I don't know how to do things, man. But, today I am here with um, a fun little different kind of video. Um, I'm going to show you basically my Pokemon collection. Uh, it's... Well, the first portion of it really isn't that impressive, but it's the second portion that I do. I am pretty excited about showing off, um, so it should be fun, it should be fun, and I do hope you enjoy. Um, uh, Start looking at the stuff. I do want to mention that uh, this is not my full collection and that part of my collection is in a limbo state or basically just kind of just apprehended. It's it's MIA, it's you know, it's missing in action um, because an ex of mine decided that he didn't want to give me all of my games back when he broke up with me. Um, so I used to have a pretty decent collection. I had I had Pokemon Blue, I had um, Pokemon Yellow. I had gold, I had crystal, I had diamond and pearl, actually. Um, I had heart gold, and I had Pokemon white version, but those do not exist anymore. So, I'm gonna show you what I do have. Let's not wallow and think about the past. As much as it hurts, we must continue, we must move on. And, this is what I got, this is what I got. All right. Now, um, this is the Nintendo 3DS that I am using right now. Um, this little guy has been with me forever. This Raichu, oh my goodness. This baby is so old. Look at how, like, worn it is. It's got, like, it's got, like, chips in the paint and everything. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, though. I miss it. I love this whole thing. Um, this little guy is not actually mine. This is Pedro's. But when we went to Nintendo World, we saw him there, and Pedro's like, Oh man, I think, like, like it's so cute. We should get it. And I'm like, if you don't get it, like, that's, there's, in fact, that's not, was, I, I didn't even give him that option. I was like, we're getting it. Like, that was it. It, it, it. He was cheap. He was like five bucks or whatever, but he's so cute. Look at him. Oh my goodness. And followed up this well, old ass Pikachu. He's really old. Look at his cheeks and eyeballs. Oh my Lord. This thing needs help. Look at his freaking ears. They're so, it's, he's so old. And he's sitting on top of my old system, which is an old uh, Nintendo DSi. I mean, not, not DSi, sorry, DS Lite. Um, I did- I never had a DSi, but I did have an original DS, like that big clunky blue thing. But I did- tr I traded it for this, so, um, I kind of miss my old DS, honestly. It was really cute. I miss that old thing. Oh well. Uh, at the bottom of the screen here, you can see I do have Pokemon Leaf Green version still. And I have Ruby version. I don't know where my Emerald is. Probably back in my house somewhere, hiding. But I do have these, so that's cool. Um... From the DS collection, I have Pokemon Mr. Dungeon Blue Rescue. I had, I think, Explorers of Time, but I'm not really sure what that went to. Uh, and I have Pokemon Black 2 version, whatever. Yes, Pokemon Black 2. So that's cool. Um, I have Pokemon Y, obviously. So this is my baby right now. And this is Pedro's Pokemon X. It's just kind of sitting here because it felt lonely. For whatever reason, it's not in his DS right now, so it's just kind of chilling here. Probably just chilling with his Bulbasaur, so that's cool. Um, this isn't really anything interesting, it's just kind of like other Nintendo DS things that I've got. So you got Smash. Got Smash. There's a Pikachu on that, so it's Pokemon ish. What is this? This is a freaking. This is a fucking Yu Gi Oh game. Let's see if we can actually zoom in. Can we focus on that? Ah, uh, yes. Nightmare Trabador. Um, I have two different Animal Crossings, one in here, one right here, um, cause I lost, with, I lost mine and then, um, my friend gave me his, and then I found mine, so now I've got two, uh, and I've got Final Fantasy 3, so that's not Pokemon, but that's here. Um, now, for the main event, I, what I really wanted to show you today, uh, was this. This, do you see these? These are all Pokemon cards. All freaking Pokemon cards. And I cannot wait to dive into this right now. I have a list on my computer right now. That's, oh, you can't see that, so whatever. I've got a list on my computer, though, of, um, oh, now you can kind of see it. Um, a list of the trading card game expansions. So, um, that's cool. Because I, I have a lot of, oh, there it goes, nice and, nice and finally found the light again. 
but um, I have a lot of uh, a lot of different cards from a lot of different sets, so we're just gonna dive right in. This is a big ass binder, uh, nice and front page. All right, now this is pretty obviously from base set one. This is back to the originals, back to the streets where we began, man. Oh shit, I just fell down, I'm sorry, I just fell a little bit. So look at that old ass Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, oh, so precious. Oh my goodness, freaking Caterpie and Metapod, Pidgey, Magnemite, Coughing, Doduo, oh my lord. Uh, they are organized, by the way, um, by set and by rarity. So these are all, oops, these are all, you know, whoop, there we go. These are all common cards, and then we'll go to uncommons, and then rares, and then um, hollows from the from there and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, there's no reason to like talk about every single one of these. Although I do like this Weedle card, it's so cute. Um, but I do want to show off just, just a little bit of my, well, not a little bit, probably all of my collection, but it's so much fun. I really do hope you enjoy. And look at this, oh my goodness. See, for whatever reason, when I was a kid, this ghastly card scared me. There's something about like the really bad CGI and just, I don't know, look at those eyes, those soulless eyes. Oh my lord. Um, oh my god, Starmie. Is Starmie a common? Starmie's a common, that's interesting. That's right, I was thinking about it before, I was like, why is Starmie a common? Um, Rattata Machop. Magikarp, which is freaking powerful. Look at the original Magikarp, man. Uh, Sandshrew and the- Oh, I've got two Machops, because, um... I have two Machops because Machop is ridiculous. Um, I have, like, I have so many Machops. Like, look at the- <sighs> So I kind of had to, like, split them up. Anyway, oh look at the original Pikachu. It's actually not terrible. It's kind of pudgy. Look at them. They're friends. They're friends. Anyway, ah, uh, Polywag is really cute. I just love the art in the original cards. Did I just? I like two magnets. I swear I had two. Never mind. Whatever. Uh, I like this Porygon too. Some of the weird. This like base set one has some really weird like. Like, Porygon's kind of CGI, and Magnemite's kind of CGI, and so was uh, Ghastly and stuff, so that's really weird. Farfetch, Nidorino, and then uh, these lovelies, Ivysaur, Wartortle, and Charmeleon, all hanging out together. Let's go on to the next page. Uh, Seal and Dugong were both uncommons, which was interesting. Uh, Jatini was uncommon. Growlithe, Arcanine, Haunter, again with that weird CGI, and he's looks like he's about to, I don't know, grab me and pull me into the Shadow Realm. Um, we got Jinx, Poliwhirl, and Magmar. We've got nice and Kadabra, Machoke. And again, Machoke is one that I had a lot of. I could build a freaking Machop, Machoke, Machamp deck. Um, Kakuna, Raticate, Beedrill. Nice and Shino. Uh, Electabuzz, Dugtrio. Dugtrio is another weird one. It's like sort of CGI. And it's like really weird. Uh, Pidgeotto looks pretty cool. I love this old art, man. Oh, and then another like weird sort of CGI one is uh, Electrode over here. Our buzz hmm. Go. Oh, why are these two down here? What are you doing down here? <gasps> That's right. Okay, these two are weird because these two um, are probably fake. Let me go back and do a little comparison. I'm sorry, that probably just freaked out a couple people. Uh, close the screen. Okay. Now here is here is the regular Electabuzz, and here is the other one. Look at the coloration and the um, the like the lining of the um, like the the rim of the card here. It's just like this is just a little bit too thick here, and it's a little bit too bright. It's just I don't know. It's just really weird. It's just really weird. I don't actually know how I have this or why I have this. I don't even really know why I'm keeping. It. I'm just keeping it because it's kind of entertaining. But I mean, otherwise, it looks like a regular Pokemon card in every way. It's just that because I have. A real one to compare it to. It's like, oh yeah, you're totally fake. So that's that. Uh, and I've got the Squirtle towards the beginning of this binder, so we might as well go and look at that. Oh, I can turn these pages. Um, the difference on this one is uh, the lettering. Like, like here. Like, look at the um, look at the HP. For whatever reason, like, see, like the card. This card is a little bit lighter than this card. Uh, the HP is a little bit. Like, the font is just like a little bit different. See, like, look at the four. Look at the four on um, both of these. It's just like a little bit different. And um, I believe the font down here is a little bit different. Yeah, like this one is a little bit bigger than this one for whatever reason. So I have two fake cards, so that's kind of weird. But uh, 
it's kind of entertaining to me anyway. Let me put these back then. I got confused for a second. I'm like, what did I put you here? What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, I got some trainer cards. These are the old original ones. I love this poor freaking Weedle. Look at this poor bastard. He's so upset. He's like, no way, please no! Uh, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, trainer cards this this set were um, CGI. And energy removal, potion, potion, super potion, full heal. Let's get back in there. I'm falling out a little bit. Defender, freaking plus power. All kinds of cool stuff. Energy retrieval, which is nice. Professor Oak, which is pretty cool. Uh, Pokedex. These are also organized in um, rarity, so now we're into uncommons, which is Pokemon Center, Pokemon Trader, Pokemon Breeder. Uh, last, and partially Professor Oak. This is always one of my favorite cards growing up. Just look how freaking devious this is. Look at him. What a jerk. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> Alright, super energy removal. Cool. Play the Clefairy doll. De-evolution spray, which sounds really disruptive. And then item planning. Oh, and then scoop up, because apparently, apparently these trainer cards really freaking hate Weedle. Like, I don't know what he did, but he got messed up. Oh my lord. And then Peter Search. Ah, just a bunch of energies, which is cool. That's cool. In fact, this is probably one of the few pages that actually does have energies, a few sections anyway. Uh, this is cool. I do have two double colorless energies. And Pedro was like super excited about it. He's like, oh my god, how did you get these? And I'm like, I don't know, I just have them. And he's like, you know how rare that is? I'm like, nah, actually I don't. So, I mean, I don't know. They're here. That's cool. They're not super rare, I guess. They're uncommon. But it's still cool. It's still nice. Alright, here we are then to ah, my holographic cards. Which, let me see if you can see how shiny it is. Oh, look how shiny it is. I've got Blastoise and I have Charizard. And I am so upset that I don't have Venusaur. And I got a Nido King sitting there. But I do have the original Blasters and original Charizard. Oh lord, look how cool that is! We got this nice and shiny, or nice and hollow Nido King. Nice and hollow Ninetales. Zapdos. Oh, original Zapdos is so cool. Uh, Magneton. Uh, some more Ninetales. Actually, I got a lot of Ninetales. Jeez. Um, I have two Chanseys, which is cool. So look how hollow. Ooh, so shiny! I have three freaking Machamps. Look at this, look at this guy. In the right light, you can see that he's got like, like the card has, okay, here, let's look at this one, try to look at this one. You can see like, here, you can kind of see it. You can see like, he's got like, like a bunch of fists in the background, like constantly punching. It's really cool looking. I don't know, it's hard to see in, in, with this, obviously. And I've got two holographic Hitman chants. That's really neat. And then this, I have three, three count, Polyraths. Oh, I got the polyrath. Ooh, you are not supposed to be here. You are actually base set two. Whoops. Oh well. Uh, I have three holographic Mewtwo's. Pretty fallen. And I have three Gyaradoses. Which are also fallen. I like the original Gyarados. It's really powerful. For whatever reason, it reminds me of original, um... The original art for Blue Eyes White Dragon in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. It's got that feel to it, I guess. Okay. And we are gonna move on to the Jungle series. Oh my god, look at that Eevee. Look at that Eevee. Look at him having a good old time. Oh my goodness. I like the- I love the original sets. The art on them was so cool. It's just so cute. Look at this. And like, the biggest reason that I collected when I was a kid is because I like the art on it. God, look at this cute one. He's so sad. I'm crying. He's literally crying. Oh my god. Don't worry. She's in a better place now. Anyway. Um, see, he's got that weird CGI thing again. He's got some- I don't like this Pikachu. It's mainly because it's just like, it's a weird static picture on like a weird, weirder background. I don't know, it's awful. It is first edition though. I've got a lot of first editions actually. Um, I don't even know if they freaking do that anymore. Spiro looks weird. I don't know if I'm Not bad. Uh, Bellsprout. Meowth. I like this Meowth. I don't know why. I really like that Meowth. Um, Jigglypuff also first edition. Weeping Bell also first edition. We into Uncommons already. Wow. Alright. Uh, Persian also first edition. Not so many, seriously, look. Exeggutor, freaking Primate, freaking New Arena, man, Sea King, Butterfree. Oh, I like this Butterfree though, it's such a cool card. Rapidash is also first edition. Jesus Christ, why do I have so many first editions? Tauros, Dodrio, Gloom. Gloom's a weird card. Ugh. Jewel. Yeah. Yeah. Parasect, Lickitung. <laughs> That's so cute. Marowak. Ah, so cool, oh my lord. 
Electrode, got some Fero action, got a Rhydon, it's so cool, it's like charging at you and stuff. I like this Vile Plume, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Wigglytuff, and a big ol' Snorlax. I've got First Edition Pidgeot, I've got Scyther, I've got Pinsir. Oh, Scyther and Pinsir hanging out together, I didn't even realize. I didn't actually intend to do that, that's pretty cool. Alright, uh, I like this Kangaskhan, it's pretty neat. Uh, Victory Bell, Clefable, and I've got Needle Queen, and... Oh, that's on the next page. Aha! Got a Pokeball. Got a Pokeball from this set. That's cool. Alright, here we are to the holographics. We have a Scyther, which is awesome. I have all three evolutions that were actually available this gen, so that's awesome. I really like that Flareon art. I really do. The, the Vaporeon is really cute, though, and Jolteon looks so badass. And then I've got Holographic Pidgeot, which I'm also pretty proud of. I like that one. I really like that art. And then we are going on to the Fossil series. Oh my goodness. We've been recording for like over 15 minutes now. This is a while. Um, oh jeez, I've still got so much to do. So much to talk about. Woo! Alright. Buckle your seatbelts, because we've got a horsey. we got- Oh my god, look at this slowpoke. Look at that slowpoke when it goes focused. Look at that slowpoke. Oh, that thing's just badass. Oh my goodness. Um, I might start glossing over these a little bit more now, but, um, look at that Ammonite, though. Eh. So cute. And Kabuto over here. Actually, we probably should have been put next to each other. I don't know why Crab is in the middle of, like, breaking up the family, the fossil family over here. Oh, well. Oh, look at that side. It looks so sad. He's like, Ooh. Zubat, Grimer, Golduck looks really badass. I don't know what this background is, but it looks really cool anyway. Golbat, Ghastly. Magmar, Arbok, and Cloyster. This is our first edition. Graveler and Golem get to sit next to each other. That's cool. Sandslash, Omnistar, Tentacruel, Seedra, Kingler, Weezing, and Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl looks kind of cool. Look at this freaking face. Oh, goodness. Look at your face. Ah, uh, Kabutops. I, can't, I really like this ditto. It's so weird, but it's so cool. Just look at that. It's so weird. Okay, I don't usually like Dragonite, but I actually like this card. It's really cute. Look at that background. Oh my goodness. It's so flamboyant. I have a Haunter and a Ghastly. I mean, wow, Ghastly. Yep, that's Ghastly, alright. That's a Gengar. Look at his eyes. It's so weird. Um, oh, yeah, and then I've got the Legendary Bird Trio. I have Articuno. I actually like that, I really like that art. I have Zapdos, which I like the art of even more. And I got Moltres, which is kind of in the middle. So that's cool. That is cool. Uh, we are on to the few traders that I actually do have for the fossil set, which is Recycle. This Jigglypuff looks so sad. Don't get rid of Jigglypuff. Don't abuse your Pokemon. Um, <laughs> Mysterious Fossil, Energy Search, uh, Gambler, and Mr. Fuji, who is being assaulted by that poor Lickitung. Or, not poor Lickitung, that ridiculous Lickitung. Alright, I have three! No, two! What am I doing? I have two Hitmonlees! One of them is first edition. This is this is the hollows, by the way. So they're they're hollow. They're nice and shiny. Yeah, one of them is first edition Hitmonlee. The other one's just a regular one. That's still cool though. It's still cool. Um, I have that Gengar, but holographic. So that's neat. This is my freaking baby right here. This freaking Raichu. Oh my lord! You're so precious. You're so precious. I want to kiss you. Uh, I got a Hypno, also hollow. Oh, I mean, this is a whole hollow page. So yeah, it's just hard to tell with the lighting. Um, I have this Magneton. I have two Laprases, which is nice, nice, and I have this Muck, uh, which is also, it's so hard to tell that they're holographic from here. Eh, you can kind of see a shine on them. It's just the lighting, I'm sorry. Alright, and I've got holographic Articuno and holographic Zapdos. I am so sad that I don't have Moltres, it actually really bums me out, but, oh well. Oh, not bad, you're also first edition, that's cool. Um, and I have this one! Pokemon from the um, from the fossil set that is Japanese. I have one Japanese tentacle for whatever reason, so he's just kind of chilling here by himself. I don't know. All right, this is this is base set two. This is base set two. So it's all stuff that we've seen already, but the base set two was the second release of the original base set. Obviously, um, base set was actually released three times. Um, only once in Japan, if I am correct, and then the other two times they were it was released twice in America, which is very, or two more times in America, which is very interesting. Um, so this is Base Set Two. I only I really don't have too many from Base Set Two, although I don't think I have Mr. Mom from regular from, from regular Base Set. So that's interesting. Um, 
Base Set 2 also included some of the jungle Pokemon, so I think this Paris was actually jungle Paris, but um, it base, yeah, base Set 2 included Base Set and Jungle Set, so that's neat. And then I got the Stratini, so that's all from Base Set 2. Uh, this is the... See, I, know, I gotta start looking at things now, because um, there was actually two Gym Series sets. This is Gym Heroes. So I've got Brock's Mankey, so it's kind of cool. They've got like a little Brock at the bottom of all the cards. I've got Brock's Mankey, Brock's Vulpix, his Geodude. Call for a friend. You ain't got friends. I got Brock's Sandshrew. Look at that background. Oh my lord, that's so cool. Brock's other Sandshrew, I guess. It's still the same set, but it's a different different art. Uh, his Rai... Oh, and his Raihorn. Uh, then we move on to Misty. Here's Misty. And she's got a horsey. She has a shelter, and she has a seal. And I got some more of her. No, I don't. Not in this one. Well, okay. I lied. Anyway, we're moving on to Lieutenant Surge, who is my favorite gym leader. Um, he's got a Rattata, a Spiro, and a Magnemite. Now that we're finally getting to electric Pokemon here. We have a Raichu, which, uh, he looks kind of cool, I guess. I don't know, man. We've got an Electabuzz, and we do have a Holographic Fero. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we're moving on to Erica, and she has a- or I have her Bellsprout. Her other Bell Sprout, which is also the same series, but um, I don't know. I just like this art better. It's so cute. I have her Weeping Bell, who is apparently in love with these flowers, which is precious. Oh my lord. And I've got her Victory Bell, so I was gonna. At least I got the evolution line. I don't know. We're moving on to Sabrina, who has. I've got her Abra. I have her Mr. Mime, who looks like he's really up to something right now. I like this Drowsy. Look at this Drowsy. Oh my goodness. Uh, I have her Venonat and Slowpoke. And slow bro, which I really like the art for that. Uh, Jinx and Venomoth. Is there more? There's no more. Okay, we're. I don't have any of the gym leaders in between, but I do have Blaine. And Blaine has a Ponyton, which is going really fast, I guess. Uh, a Growlithe, which is really just really cute there. And his Charmander. Oh my goodness, so precious. I don't know if he's dancing in fire or if he's dancing in a field that he's about to set on fire. It's really. I don't know. So that was Gym Heroes, and then we have Gym Challenge. So look at how similar the, the symbol is. It's literally just black instead of white. Um, and turned a different direction, I guess. Uh, but these, the, the art at the bottom of the, of the um, gym leader is still exactly the same, so that's weird. But uh, we do have Brock's other Geodude from this set. We have a Sandslash. And he has a Ninetales in this one. Uh, is, that, is that hollow? Yeah, that is hollow. Yeah, okay. This one's hollow. So that's cool. Um, we're moving on to Misty then. Again, the art's the same there. But she's got a side up here. She has another horsey, but again from the different from the different series. A polywag and a Magikarp. I like her Magikarp, it's really cute. And we're gonna go back over to Lieutenant Surge, who has this pretty cool looking Voltor, a Raticate to match the Rattata we have from the first set. Um, we have an Eevee and its evolution into Jolteon. And we have probably my favorite Pikachu art, like ever. Look at how cool that is. Look at that background. It's so deep. It's so emotional. It moves me. It makes me feel things. Look at that. Look at it. It's really cool. All right. Uh, we have Erica again. If this thing would focus, we have her Oddish, which is really cute. Like spilled out of a little flower pot. We have a Clefairy. We got another Bell Sprout. We've got like three different Bell Sprouts of Erica's anyway. Uh, oh. Well, okay. We got Koga now. That's all they've got from Erica in this in Jim. Oh, gym challenge, sorry. So I got Koga, and we're on to his Tangela, which is apparently braiding the hair of, I don't know, like Sabrina's Jinx or whatever, that's kind of neat. Uh, we have Koga's Coughing, he's got like three of them. Uh, he's got his, got an Ekans, which is a really boring art, it's just kind of like regular standard Ekans art, just like slapped onto a background. If I can turn pages, that would be great. Okay, Koga's also got a Zubat and a Golbat, and oh, then we're on to Sabrina. Hello, Sabrina. We have Sabrina's Ghastly, which, if you can see that, it is sneaking up on a Slowpoke. It is sneaking up on a Slowpoke, so that's kind of cute. Um, it might be the Slowpoke from... It's actually the same position of the Slowpoke in, um, in the Gym Heroes series. So it could be sneaking up on her Slowpoke, so that's kind of... Or Slowbro. Why did I say Slowpoke? It's Slowbro. Anyway, it, it could be sneaking up on her Slowbro from the previous series. It's very interesting. Uh, we have another Drowsy. I don't like this art as much. We have this Porygon, which is really cool. She's got another Abra, which I, I really like this. It's really cute. Um, we have a Kadabra this time. 
so it can evolve. We have another Mr. Mime, which is just really, this card art makes me really feel awkward. And she's got a Golda. I think that's it for Sabrina. Yeah, it is. All right, we're moving on to Blade, and we have his Ponyta. We have a Ride Horn, for whatever reason I want to say Ride Dawn. Anyway, we've got a Growlithe. Um, Doduo, we've got Rapidash, and I have his Arcanine, which is holographic. Uh, you can see it there. See his, his I'm sorry, his um, Growlithe and his Arcanine get to hang out together. Uh, oh, and then we've got Giovanni, who is probably my favorite villain, besides maybe Lizandre. I'm not really sure. Giovanni's pretty boss, though. Uh, we, but he does have a Magikarp, so everybody starts somewhere. Everybody starts somewhere, guys. Um, he's got a Machop and a Nidoran, male. Uh, and a Nidorino to go with that Nidoran male, and a Machoke to go with the Machop, and a Pinsir. And then the last one, which is not really even a gym leader, but is still part of the gym challenge series, is Rocket's Zapdos. There's a little rocket dude at the bottom. Which is just, it's really weird that I have like this Rocket Zapdos that is actually more boss than their actual leader's Pokemon that I have. Uh, this is also holographic. You can see the effect on the rain there. It's really cool. Um, so I really like this card out. I really do. Look at that. Anyway, I ran out of dividers here, so this is not, this is not a page. This is just a dividing page. And we're moving on to the Rocket series. Here we go. Oh wait, Rocket should have been, whoops. Oh well, Team Rocket series should have been before Gym Heroes, but oh well. Um, I have this coughing. I really like this coughing art. Look at that. It's so cute. It's so fun. Um, see, we started off with Team Rocket Pokemon here, with the coughing Ekans Meowth trio. That's fun. Uh, Drowsy, Voltorb, Eevee, Ponyta, Mankey, and Jatine. And all the Pokemon on this first page are first edition, so that's interesting. Uh, moving on. <laughs> I like this Abra art too, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, go ahead and take a little Nancy door the little thing. Um, a chap, Magnemite, which I do like this Magnemite art too, which is just so many, so much of the art is so cute. Like, he's having like the worst headache of his life right now. Look at him crying. Oh my god, you poor thing. Uh, I got Raticate, which, uh, yeah. I like this, this Diglett art too. This makes Diglett look like the biggest thing ever. Is that a freaking car? It's a freaking car being flown away because. Diglett just destroyed this building and road. Oh my god. Destructive little shit. Uh, I've got Squirtle and Radita to go with the dark Radicate that's up here. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, Slowpoke art is always so cute. Look at that. Look at him relaxing on this lazy river, fishing for things. Looking Dark Flareon, Dark Jolteon, get to hang out together. Uh, I have Dark Golduck, Dark Kadabra, Dark Rapidash. Dark Dragon Man, which is really cool. I do like that art. Uh, Dark Machoke, who's just really just flexing here, honestly. I'm like, we know you can pick up big rocks, jeez. Uh, Dark Muck. And we have Charmander, which for whatever reason... Why are you here? You shouldn't be here. No, wait, are these commons? No, okay, I don't know. There's a little misorganizing thing there going on, but whatever. I do have a, dark, uh, I do have a Charmander, and an Oddish, and a Zubat. And these should have been with the other commons, but oh well. Uh, I do have a Charmeleon here, which this pose always confused me, because it looks like his tail is coming out from his neck, so it's really awkward, but oh well. So a powerful. Uh, I got a Porygon, which is really cute, and they always seem to go with CGI for Porygon. Uh, Dark War Total, looking like a boss. Dark Golduck, okay. did I have Dark Golduck back here? Hello? Okay, well, there you go. I don't goof. Anyway, Dark Persian, Dark Primate. Electro, Gloom, Magneton, sorry. Got a Dark Blastoise, which is really neat. Uh, Dark Vileplume, Dark Gyarados, First Edition, Dark Arbok, Dark Slowbro, which I really like. It's so cool. I do like this little rocket dude in the back there. He's just chilling, man. And then Dark Alakazam. And I do not have any, um, I don't have any trainers from this series. There is, this is the last non-holo, which is Dark Machamp. Um, so I do have a, a holographic Dark Slowbro, which looks really cool. I really like that. I have a holographic first edition Dark Raichu, and this is precious. This is one of my babies. Oh my god. Look at that. Um, I have two holographic Dark Charizards. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love this pose. It's so cool. Um, this is really interesting. It is a holographic Dark Gyarados pre-release. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the pre-release is or means, 
Obviously, pre-release means before the release, but then how did I get it? Why would you print it if it's before the release? I don't know. It's really cool, though. I really like it. This is, this is, this is precious to me. This is really neat. Um, I have Holographic Dark Reason. It's very hard to see where the hollow comes in, though, on this, for whatever reason. Uh, and I've got, okay, you're not actually supposed to be here. You're not holographic. You should have been non hollow wares. But this one's holographic, so I do have a holographic Dark Dark Dragonite, so that's cool. Oh, okay, this is interesting. I do have um, a couple Japanese cards from the from the Neo Genesis series. This is from Neo Genesis. Uh, I've got a Syndical, I have a Miltank, I have a Totodile, and I have a holographic Pichu. So uh, that's weird. But yeah, I do have some Japanese cards from Neo Genesis. Um. What? Now these, or this guy, oh wait, this guy's from, this one is from, ooh, I'm sorry, this is when I've got to start looking up at the computer screen here. This is from Aqua, Aqua, Aquapolis? 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 Aquapolis, maybe, I don't know. This is like a weird symbol, look at that, I don't know, it looks like a fucking building. But it is a holographic hound doom, so that's kind of cool. Now these are from a series that, when I looked at the site, didn't, like, when I looked at Pokemon initially, didn't actually show up. Um, so I had to search it up, but it is the Southern Islands series, which was only released in Japan. I had literally no idea how I have these two cards, but I have a Southern Islands Butterfree and a Southern, I Southern Islands Togepi that is holographic. So, I don't know. I've got those. This is, look at that. There's like a Pikachu up there, there's like an Ivysaur down here, and a War Portal over there. It's kind of cool. Um, now these three are from the... Neo Destiny series, uh, which was like darkness to light kind of thing. So um, I have Light Flareon and Light Jolteon and Dark Slow King, who really just looks like he's about to fuck shit up. He's really messed up. Look at him. Look how angry this guy is. Jeez. But these are so cute. I actually really like these. Um, now these are from the, I'm sorry, Legendary Collection. These are Legendary Collection, which is effectively base set three. This is the third time they released these cards. Um, Maybe the maybe the Monday they'll make a base set for who knows, but I do have uh, legendary collection Charmander, legendary collection Rapidash, and a legendary collection's Reverse Hollow Magikarp. Look at how much freaking detail they put into this Reverse Hollow. There was no reason for this. It's a Magikarp. It's not that serious, but it is so cool looking, and I'm so glad they did it. It's like freaking fireworks. Look at that. This is ridiculous. That's absolutely insane. Okay, now these are from. These are from... Oh, whoops. These are from Aquapolis. I'm sorry. The one that was before the Houndoom, that's, um, I'm sorry, that's Neo Discovery. Wow, I don't know how I mixed that up. Oh, well, these are from Aquapolis. This is from when they had those e-reader things. So, like, every card that you had could be e-read and then put into another game on the, um... Ooh, I can't even remember. Was it the Advance? I can't remember if it was Game Boy Advance or... I think it was the Game Boy Advance, yeah. But, um, I have a Mr. Mime. I believe it's Reverse Hollow. Yeah, it's reverse hollow, which is cool. Um, so he's just chilling there. I have a skip loom, also reverse hollow. Uh, a Tyranitar, which is a really badass card, but for whatever reason, only is reverse hollow. I really wish it was actual hollow, but oh well. Look at this fucking art. Look at that. Look at his chest. Oh my lord. Um, I have a hollow Blissey. I have a hollow Arcanine, which I really love this art because it looks so traditionally Japanese or Chinese or whatever. It's so precious. Oh my god. Um, I have. Is this. Oh, that's the next page. Whoops. Haha. Uh -huh. That's all. That's the end of, um, that's the end of Aquapolis. This is... This one is EX Ruby and Sapphire. So this is probably when they first started... I think this is when they first started introducing EX cards. But, um... No, oh, this mudkip is so cute. Oh my god. I just want to tickle your little cheeks. Ah! I got another mudkip and this one's kind of boring, so, you know, whatever. Uh, this Whalemore is just... Whalemore, wow, Whalemore. Whalemore is just messing things up on this boat. It just doesn't even care. Jeez. How rude. Uh, I've got a Seeking. I have... Oh, and I've got the mud. I've got the cute Mudkip, but in Reverse Hollow. So, this one's amazing. I love them. Oh my lord. Uh, I've got a Reverse Hollow Skitty. So cute. Uh, I've got that Whale Lord that was wreaking havoc, but again, Reverse Hollow. Um, I have that Seeking, again, Reverse Hollow. And I have a Hollow Blaziken. So that's neat. Look at that. Look at that. Um, this is the, uh, we're back to the e-reader stuff, but this one is EX Sandstorm, 
So that's fun. Uh, I've got, uh, these are actually all hollow and reverse hollow, I think. So reverse hollow Cyndaquil. Reverse hollow Elekid. He's so cute. Reverse hollow Aeron. <laughs> ah, it's so cute. Reverse hollow Slackcaw, which is just chilling over here by these flowers. Uh, reverse hollow Cacturn. Reverse hollow Sandslash. Regular hollow Cradilly. So that's neat. Here, let me try to, try to get over here so I can like... I gotta, it's weird I have to shake the thing around so you can see like how hollow, like that it actually is hollow or whatever. Uh, I really love this Surviper art. Oh wait, let me just gonna not shake it around for a second, just so you can see that. Look at that. He's... They went into so much detail with that. So Viper is over here like kicking ass against the freaking... Or not even kicking ass, it's just like, it's just facing off against a freaking Zangoose. That is so powerful. That is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, and this is my first EX card, which is Whale Lord EX. It's super, look at look at how anticlimactic the EX is. But this guy is so, is just really cool. It's really neat. I really do like the art. It's very interesting. Um, got super deep dive, dwindling wave. Oh my god, look at that retreat cost. Jeez. Uh, but it is really cool. I really do like it. Oh, I just realized the outside of this is hollow as well. That's interesting. All right. Now this is from. This is from, oh, now I've got to start scrolling down my computer. So let's come over here. Okay, that is EX Team Magma versus Team Aqua. So I do have Team Magma Zangoose uh, and it is reverse hollow. But it, this is gets to the weird point where like I have one or two or five cards from a series and that's it. And I don't know how I have them. It's just really weird, it really is. Um, I have three cards from the, this is, zoom in on that, we're focusing on that. I need the one, I need the one. This is EX Hidden Legends. I have a hollow Shuppet, Shuppet, which is really an interesting card to have a, a freaking hollow for. Uh, hollow Cast Form, and hollow Pincer. So, that's neat. This is EX Fire Red and Leaf Green. So we're moving up on the games here. We've got a regular old Magnemite, which is really cool though still. We've got a hollow Squirtle. Uh, hollow Polyrath, Hollow Executor. Look at look at this guy. Look at this guy right here, though. Look at this guy right here, though. He's so fucking happy. He's so happy to be kicking your ass. Look at look like it's like curb stomping you, and he's just like, you're gonna die. It's so terrifying. Oh my god. Um, I have Hollow Rapidash. Uh, you have this weird Chansey that is hollow, but it has like this weird Pokeball pattern here, which I really do like. And you know, oh, that's right, the Rabidash has it too. So, uh, I don't know, it's really interesting. It's a really interesting way to do hollows, this one. It's kind of like almost, it's almost hollow and reverse hollow at the same time. It's so weird. And I have a Gyarados EX, which again, is like a very anticlimactic way to say EX. But I freaking love this art. It is so intense. It's so, oh, it's so majestic. This guy just wants to rip people's souls apart. Oh my god. So cool. It's really cool. Look at that. Goodness. I love that. I love that. Um, this is another Rocket series. What is this? This is EX Team Rocket Returns. And it's just it's just a regular little Marowak. He's just chilling. Uh, this is, again, this is this you see we're getting down to like the end of my binder here. What the end of my first binder, my apologies. Um, this guy is from Diamond and Pearl, and it's a little manaphy, holographic. I have a reverse hollow bastiodon from from Myst Mysterious Treasures. Mysterious Treasures. Let's see it. He's, he's, he's reverse hollow. Kind of cool. Um, and I have a Fion from. This is where I don't know the names of things. This is Majestic Dawn. This is Majestic Dawn, and it is reverse hollow. So I have a Fion, and I have a Manaphy, but they're all from different sets and whatnot. But that is the end of the first binder. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. As I close the chapter on the first. Se oh, I can't do it that way. Well, uh, 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 well, uh, so many it needs to stop. It needs to stop. Okay, bop, bop. Get out of my way. We are gonna trade places now and go for the blue binder. Put the black binder over here. And bam! This is where we start off on something you might actually recognize. Haha! <laughs> These are 
uh, these are flash fire. These are flash fire. Um, these actually were graciously donated to me by the great Bulbasaurus, Pedro. Um, because, well, it's more like we're building a collection together, I guess, at this point. But, um, yeah, it is fun to kind of add these to the collection. I am really excited about that. And little PG. Spritzy, ah! Friggin' Sneasel. Friggin' Sentra. Esper looking terrifying as usual. Uh, this Helio pile is pretty precious. and it looks so happy. Flabebe, Ponyta, Baneri, oh my lord. Got this Feebas action. Freaking Litleo, Sligu, Sneasel again. Two different Sneasel arts? Huh, not bad. Two different Sneasel arts. It's cool. Um, Floet, Miltank, Furfru. I do like that Furfru. I like that cut. There's a Pharaoh cut, I believe. No, it's not a Pharaoh cut. What is that? I don't know. I like that cut. That's one of my favorites. Uh, Meowstic, those are precious. Oh, and then, um, again, we're moving on to the reverse hollows of this series, which is reverse hollow Flabebe, reverse hollow Flotzel, Flotzel, uh, Flotzel, whatever, reverse hollow Fortress, and actually, no, this is just regular hollow Dredagon. This is regular hollow. That's cool. I feel like Dredagon art is really neat. Look at him slashing, hacking and slashing, man. Uh, we've got a couple trainers Fiery Torch, Pal Pad, Sacred Ash. Ooh. <laughs> and Pokemon Center Lady, look at this little girl, she's like, that Pikachu doll done ripped, and she's like, oh, I'll take care of it, don't worry, the Pokemon Center will take care of your shit, and she's like, okay. Alright, now we are on to Furious Fist, which was, well, until, uh, until a couple days ago, this was the latest series. Um, now this Phantom Forces, and I really can't wait to get my hands on that, but look at this freaking Eevee. Look at the happy he is. Oh my god, he's so happy about life. He doesn't even know, like, he doesn't even know, man. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. This is Scurvy. Oh my lord. Patrat, that's actually really cute. It actually is. Uh, Cub Shoe's looking happy as hell. Scraggy is pretty boss. Look at that. Look at that pose. Freaking Pancham, man. I got two different Clefairies here. This one is just like, skipping along happily, and this one's like, I don't even know what you're doing. What are you doing? What are you touching there? I don't know. Uh, I've got a Shelmet. Plus one mine and hanging out here, kind of the similar similar scene going on. It's cute. Uh, this P Pichu or Pikachu, wow Pichu, whatever, kind of shooting flowers out of his butt. I don't know what does Pikachu do. Um, got Bellsprout, Drowsy. I love this Lickitung art. It's so cute. Look at that big fat tongue. We start recording because um, apparently there's a video size limit on Pedro's phone. So whatever. We have a Guppita. We have a Poliwag. We have a Noibat. This video is way too long. I'm so sorry. Um, but I do want to finish this. I'm so close to the end. Magmar, Trap Inch, Electabuzz, Clauncher, it's really cool. Uh, Machop, about to kick some ash, jeez. Makuhita, Torchic, Shroomish, Mianfu. Got Slackoth, Weeping Bell, and Machoke. This is just a really weird card art. Oh my god. Uh, Hitmonchan, Raichu, which is, oh my goodness, you are so precious. Look at you. Look at you. Uh, Vigoroth, which I do like. I like Vigoroth as a Pokemon. Gotharita, Amora, got freaking Scrafty here. It looks like a boss. Oh, look at that! It's actually the same scene. It's the two. It's the Plusle and Minon in the background there, and Scrafty's just like, I don't even care about any of this shit. Like, I'm gonna get out of here, or like maybe nobody will notice me, kind of thing. It's like they're distracting them for him. It's like the Plusle and Minon are distracting all the humans so the Scra Scrafty can go like do something bad. Okay, hit one lead and hit one top. Uh, Mian Shao, which is really cool. I really like that art. If I can get over back to it. Yeah, there you go. I saw the Gore being super fast, I guess. Uh, Licky Licky, just being cute. What is that Pokemon over there? Is that- that must be- Yeah, that's Scrafty. Not bad. Alright. Uh, Watch Hog. Weeping Bell. Vibrava. Klefki. I do like that Klefki. It's cute. Hypno. Flygon. Oh, I like that Flygon a lot. Look at that! I'm gonna beat the crap out of that Hiriyama. Uh, Golurk, oh my gosh, he's just destroying things. What is going on? Aurorus, Magmortar, fighting alongside um, Electivirus, that's really cool. I like that they draw, they're having like a lot of Pokemon together in these. Uh, Gothitelle, and I've got Glaceon and Sylveon hanging out together. These are the trainer cards from this series, so that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna gloss over them real quickly, honestly. Uh, here we are. And we've got. 
training center, uh, just other, more trainer cards, just more trainer cards. Um, I like this Karina. Uh, these are reverse hollow trainer cards, so that's pretty cool. And then, uh, when I was at, um, when I was at Pokemon Symphonics, Pedro and I bought one set of Furious Fists each. And, um, my, my rare pull, my, my, like, my hollow pull or whatever, happened to be a full art holographic freaking freaking ridiculous like awesomely ridiculous c trainer Karina here and that's just really cool and I remember like when I pulled it I was like oh, that looks really cool and Paige was like do you even have any idea how important that is how rare that is I'm like nope so now I know and it's really awesome and I'm so freaking excited about that look at that she's such a boss look at it compared to this one she's like I'm just over here and she's like I'm gonna kick your butt it's so cool oh my goodness uh, we have one energy from this one, and these are the regular hollows, or not regular hollows, but like Pokemon hollows, but these are reverse hollows. Uh, just some of the same Pokemon we've already seen, except for Jinx, we haven't seen Jinx. Uh, Shroomish, Torchic, reverse hollow Electabuzz and stuff, um, reverse hollow Klefki, Watchog, which you didn't have before, and Pangoro. That's really cute. We have reverse hollow Halucha, we have another Bellsprout, which should be over with the first Bellsprout, but oh well. Uh, Sylveon, we have Reverse Hollow Blaziken, which seems like a really weird Pokemon of a Reverse Hollow instead of a regular Hollow. Uh, it's a, this is a Hollow Poliwrath, which got a little bit of damage over here somehow. Uh, we have a regular Hollow Machamp, and that is it for um, for the Furious Fist series. And the last page has promo cards, since they don't really have like a series. Uh, I put all the promo cards on the last page here, so we have. Promo Mew, which is really cool, really, really cool. Uh, promo Pikachu here, a Promo Articuno, a Promo Entei, which is a little bit damaged, and I am, I don't even know how that happened, it makes me really upset. Uh, I have the Ancient Mew, which is really cool, I really like that, I'm so glad I have that. Uh, obviously, Ancient Mew is hollow, the full card is hollow, it's just like really neat. Um, I have a promo Mewtwo from the first movie, and a promo Pikachu from I don't even know what. But, um, it's so cool, look at that. So I do have one page of promo cards. These are some old Pokemon advertisements. Oh my god, look at that old art. Pokemon Trading Card League, hey kids, join the Pokemon League for the Trainer's Badge. This is activities each week, blah 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 blah. Just like, old flyers from like, an event, like, in my area or whatever. Oh my gosh, it's so old. Anyway guys, that's my time, and I do hope you enjoyed looking at my ridiculous collection of Pokemon cards and things and stuff. Um, in the comment section, do tell me which one you like the best. Do you have a favorite? I really- I, I can't- I don't think I even have a favorite. There's so many that were so cool, and I don't know, I'm just really excited that I do have this old collection. Um, because my parents actually wanted to- or my mom wanted to sell them, and my dad was like, you take these cards and you run for the hills. And I think that's partially because um, my dad used to have an old baseball card collection, but he ended up giving that away to his brother who ended up selling them all. And like, he tells me like to this day he regrets doing that because he wished that he still had like that. It's just, there's something special about collecting stuff, I guess. There's something really special about that. And having like this, you, you build up like this, this personal legacy, you know? It's just, it's really cool. And I'm really glad that I still have this. I'm really glad that my mom didn't make me sell them. Um, I'm glad that my dad, you know, ha I guess was the voice of, not, not so much the voice of reason, as much as like, he just came and saved me, he swooped in and was like, you take these and you go, like, these are yours, do whatever you want with them, so I'm really thankful for that, and um, like I said, I hope you enjoyed, and let me know which one was your favorite, whether it be by card art, whether it be by rarity, um, whether it be by like, maybe you have personal attachment to it, maybe you have, you know, like an original Charizard, or whatever, you know, I don't know, let me know. Let me know, and I will see you some other time. Bye.